everyone to our inaugural Cherry Hill Seminary Wendy Griffin Professor of the Year Award Ceremony. Uh, I'm your host today and chair of the Votaries Alumni Circle who is sponsoring this award and today's event. Uh, I'm very excited that we're launching this annual award which will recognize teaching excellence and a commitment to both spiritual growth for students and Cherry Hill's mission to further education in pagan and nature spiritualities to transform the world. Uh, today wouldn't have been possible without the help of so many of you. And I want to first thank all members of the Votaries Alumni Circle for your time, collaboration, and financial gifts. I want to thank the leadership of Cherry Hill Seminary for your support of this effort and to the skilled, patient, and fabulous faculty for making this endeavor a rewarding one. Uh, and of course, I wanna thank current Cherry Hill students for responding and sending in nominations for your favorite professors. Um, so a couple other things as we get started. Um, if you need to come and go for any reason, please do so. Um, you can, of course, use the chat box if you wish to message each other privately. You've also got um, at the bottom of your screen uh, reactions. There's a little emoji, and you can use those to um, react to anything you see or hear. Um, and then at the end, um, we'll have a brief time for questions or comments. And in a few minutes, I'll share with you a little more about who was eligible for this award and some information about our four deserving nominees. I'll also talk about how the winner was selected and what they will receive. After that, one of our students will share why she made the nomination she did, and then she'll introduce our winner. But first I want to thank one more individual who unfortunately is not here today in person, but is here in spirit. I would like to thank Wendy Griffin herself, for whom our award is named. When our alumni group discussed the idea of a Professor of the Year Award, I knew immediately that I um, wanted it to be named in honor of Wendy because of all she brought to Cherry Hill. Uh, sadly, Wendy died a few weeks ago after a long illness and she will be missed greatly. I'd like to now invite Holly, our Executive Director, to offer a tribute uh, for Wendy. Thank you, Wes. The Votaries Alumni Association made a wonderful decision last year in naming the Professor of the Year Award for our Academic Dean Emerita, Wendy Griffin. And today we'll present that very first award and the surprise announcement will come in just a few minutes. But of course, we wanted to acknowledge the hugely significant role that Wendy had in shaping Cherry Hill Seminary for about eight years. She accepted the position of academic dean for this tiny, underfunded, not fully developed, oh, and, uh, and little known school. Did I mention and no pay? Why would she have done such a thing? Wendy saw Cherry Hill Seminary as her next adventure and beloved cause rolled up in one gift package. Having worked very closely with her all those years, I can attest to what most of us here already know, that Wendy was a consummate professional at the same time that she was kind, compassionate, and visionary. I still remember the first time she said to me, but we are not just colleagues now, are we? We're friends. Never has the word friend meant so much to me. Sadly, only months after retiring from Cherry Hill and just after publishing a new historical novel, Wendy suffered a very serious stroke. In January, she began to decline sharply. And just at the end of the month, she, her husband, and her sister made the difficult decision to call in hospice care. And I, I would note that Wendy was part of that decision. Her suffering ended just days later on February 12th. So today's occasion could not ignore a sadness so recent. 
I'm quite confident, however, that if there is a life beyond this one, Wendy is with us today in spirit and with genuine happiness in her heart to see how far we have come since she came and changed our seminary so profoundly. It would be impossible to tell all of Wendy's story. And this is not the time to do so, but I have just a few photos to share. And uh, this is Wendy's 75th birthday. She, she would have been 80, I think in the next week or two. And uh, she spent months getting ready for this by um, writing a murder mystery. And they, they rented um, a boat in the harbor that's some kind of historical boat and did a, like a Poirot, Agatha Christie type um, thing. So everybody is in costume. Uh, the last couple of years of her life she spent, um, or before her stroke, she spent really, really jumping into climate change. Here she is with, um, at a conference with Al Gore. Uh, of course, she was uh, a feminist to the very end. Here she and Doug Cox, her husband, are at uh, the Women's March in 2017, wearing her pussy hat, which she made. She was also a fabulous knitter. She up and decided one year while she was with Cherry Hill to uh, go to Iceland and do a tour of Iceland. And she managed to connect with the Azatru priest there, who most of us have heard about, but uh, don't know. And uh, so here she is with Hilmar Hilmarsson. This is at the Cherry Hill Seminary Intensive entering the Sacred Grove in Butler, Missouri in 2014. That's our professor, Bob Patrick, with her. A lot of people don't know that Wendy had a career as a folk singer uh, in her, uh, I guess, early 20s. Here she is. She toured Europe. Uh, here she is at the Greening of Religion 2016 symposium we held with the University of South Carolina. And uh, this subject, uh, was already so important to her that uh, we held the symposium on environmental issues. And I'll share these words that Wendy asked be published after her death. She said, I want it to be known that I had a wonderful life. I've sung in nightclubs, done off-Broadway with Dustin Hoffman, published three novels and edited research books. I've been an actress, a drummer, a puppeteer, a diamond courier, and a professor of women's studies. I've swum in the Indian Ocean at dawn, gone to the fair in Seville, and seen the Hopi snake dance. I've made love in the sea off Veracruz, where the phosphorus danced like blue flame across our bodies, and under the moon with a young pan near the ruins of a Greek temple. Upon reaching the maturity of cronehood, I found the love of my life, and finally discovered that love could be sacred as well as fun. The joy Doug has brought into my life has been so intense that sometimes I feel my heart welling up and spilling over. I've lived and loved passionately and have been blessed with loving family and friends. My life has been incredibly rich. We had planned all along to present something to Wendy that was not Professor of the Year Award, but we wanted to show our appreciation. So we had this um, wooden candle holder. We thought that she would appreciate it's being biodegradable, uh, made for her. And thank goodness we're able to ship it to her um, actually just uh, three days before she died. And she was awake and Doug says that she was extremely touched and loved it. Uh, they, they couldn't use um, flame, of course, near her because of oxygen, but they put several uh, electric candles around it and put it beside her bed.
So let me just say that whoever receives today's award from the votaries will have a worthy example to follow. Thank you. Thank you, Holly. Um, it was a wonderful and moving tribute. <clears throat> As, uh, as our alumni circle thought about the criteria for the award to, in honor of Wendy, uh, we first wanted to get input from a current master's degree or non-credit insight students. Uh, naturally, students are the ones who know professors the best. And so we decided that nominations would come strictly from current students. Those wanting to nominate a professor had to answer um, questions, including, um, how did the professor support intellectual or spiritual growth and the enjoyment of learning in the classroom? How did the professor connect the course material to students' academic, professional, and spiritual goals? And how did the professor respond to student needs throughout the course? How did they develop positive relationships uh, with you and other students? So uh, students sent in their nominations to um, the alumni circle. And this year we had four excellent nominees. Uh, to vote for the winner, uh, voters members then reviewed the nominations and uh, voted on which professor they felt best exemplified the criteria in Cherry Hill's mission. So next I want to uh, share a little about each of our nominees. Um, our first nominee is uh, Erica Barron. Unfortunately, she's not here today, um, but Erica is nominated for her master's level class in homiletics, the art and craft of sacred speech, a topic she knows well given her experience as a Unitarian Universalist minister for various congregations over the past 13 years. Uh, Erica currently, currently leads a Unitarian congregation in Shelburne, Vermont, uh, where she also calls home. Our second nominee is Holly Emore, who uh, we all know, of course, is Executive Director of Cherry Hill. Holly is nominated for her master's level class in interfaith leadership, a topic she is passionate about as seen in her work with interfaith partners of South Carolina. Holly received her master's of divinity degree from Cherry Hill, is a member of our Votary's alumni circle, and also teaches a variety of insights courses. She is the priestess of Osarian, a tradition based on ancient Egyptian spirituality. Uh, our next nominee is Shane Nelson. And Shane, I'll just say I, I apologize for not getting this to you uh, in advance. Uh, I lifted this from the Cherry Hill page, but if you see anything or hear anything that um, is incorrect, please jump in and correct me. Uh, Shane is nominated for two insights classes, self-care as spiritual leaders and pathworking for healing. Shane is a professional educator and counselor, and he holds a master's degree in clinical mental health counseling and is currently working on his master's of divinity from Star King School for the Ministry. Uh, Shane lives in Oregon and is an ordained cleric priest with Sacred Well Congregation. Does that all sound okay, Shane? Our fourth and final nominee is Deirdre Similad Rogers. Uh, Deirdre heads up Cherry Hill's Department of Ministry, Advocacy and Leadership. And she was nominated for her master's level class in Western esotericism. She holds a PhD in sociology and currently teaches at California Polytechnic State University and Troy University in Alabama. Uh, Deirdre lives in California and follows a Druid spiritual practice. So um, if I could ask everyone to unmute for a moment. And let's give a, a quick round of applause for all our nominees. Yay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I wanna congratulate each of the nominees. And in just a moment, we'll reveal our winner. But first, let me tell you what the winner receives. The winner of the 2021 Rennie Griffin Professor of the Year Award will receive a custom trophy, a cash honorarium, a listing on the Cherry Hill website, 
a press release to the media and the opportunity to help select next year's winner. So thank you for your patience. And I'd like to ask uh, Cynthia, uh, <clears throat> a Masters of Divinity student and Votaries Alumni Circle member to reveal who our winning professor is. Thank you, Wes. Thank you everyone for being here. And Holly, that was so touching. Um, I pride myself on not getting tearful, but I did, I couldn't help it. And this is such a touching um, time for this person to receive this. Um, I had to write things down because I don't memorize well, but um, this nominee as illustrated by personal and professional example, how to be completely respectful of diversity of personalities and opinions in this world. Here I go. <laughs> We've all witnessed the abundance of enthusiasm for any subject this individual has taught, such that students are consistently engaged in lively dialogue that truly only comes to a close because our attention is called to the class ending time. In the most recent class I took with this nominee, there were several of us a bit intimidated by putting together PowerPoint presentations, and this nominee was immensely encouraging and helpful so we could be successful. This nominee is driven by an incredible curiosity about life and communicates this to students in such a way that is catching. You can't help but think, I've never thought about that before. And that leads to building connections in amazing ways. On a personal note, this nominee has the patience and fortitude to answer any question I have sent across their desk. And the best part is we share a love of goats. So it is truly my pleasure to introduce Dr. Deidre Summerlad Rogers. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Crap, now there's pressure. <laughs> I up, like Wendy's legacy? I mean, yeah. <laughs> sure. I, 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 I'm speechless. Um, first of all, I, I want to thank Cynthia for the nomination and the alumni whom I think all have taken my research methods. So I'm really surprised you've actually agreed to give me this award. But, <laughs> and especially those of you who I've cheered your theses on. Um, <laughs> thank you so much. It means so much to me to, to have this, this honor. And wow, I'm, I'm truly blessed. And, you know, Cherry Hill is such an amazingly different educational space. You know, I've taught at quite a few colleges. I teach at different master's levels programs. I've taught undergraduate at big schools and small schools. And I really love teaching at Cherry Hill. You know, it when, when I ask students to come together and have conversations, it's never pulling teeth to get people to talk. It's usually I have to stop you now to let the next person just go ahead and say something, which is an amazing problem to have in class as opposed to the dead silence. Um, teaching here has been great. The enthusiasm, you know, I, I see our, our process together as collaborative. I'm, I'm here as much to guide you rather than teach you through a lot of these classes because a good chunk of our classes are about you exploring your own paths in life and my, I see my place in most of my classes with you as holding space, creating sacred space for you to take that journey and, and learning and, and helping you appreciate the diversity around us and how, you know, unlike other seminaries, we, we can all be right, even though we're all different. And that is so critical to understanding the world, especially spirituality, where everybody's path is unique and purposeful and correct for them. And that is absolutely okay. And it doesn't have to be right for me. And that's okay too. And our, our mission and moving forward to, to continue this work. And I'm, it's so awesome. And I'm so blessed to be here and thank you so much for this honor. And, you know, I, Wendy was here when I started and really helped show me the ropes. And I'm so honored to be the first recipient of this award. Um, she was an amazing person and an amazing mentor. And she and I shared a, a love of the environment and things like that. And yeah, and, and yeah, come see my goats anytime, y'all. So. 
Thank you so and much. Congratulations. Well, congratulations, Deirdre. And if I can show this, here's your award. <laughs> <laughs> So this is going be, in and out with the background. I know, I know. <laughs> there it is. Thank you so much. So this will be for it. This will be shipped to you along with the other items. So congratulations again, and um, congratulations again to all the nominees, Shane, Holly, and Erica as well. Um, so to um, to wrap up, um, I just want to make a couple quick announcements um, uh, for our next upcoming event. Um, there will be um, a spring social probably in May. So for those of you who are members, uh, watch for that. Um, we are planning um, some uh, web content. Uh, to put up in the future and news about votaries members. So um, uh, if you are a member and have any news, you can go ahead and send it to me anytime or to Holly. Um, and, um, and there will be information and announcements about this coming out. So just keep, keep watch for those. And believe it or not, we'll be looking forward to later this year, taking nominations for the professor of the year for 2022. Uh, Deirdre will not be eligible to win again, unfortunately. Um, so if you're a student, um, keep that in mind. And then um, uh, anyone who's not a member can join at any time during the year. And we'll be looking at membership renewals uh, later in 2021. Um, I wanted to open it up um, in case anyone has any questions or comments about any about today or votaries or anything Cherry Hill, anything like that, um, just for a few moments. And then I'll turn it over to uh, Jeffrey to uh, close us out. Um, Wes, I feel like I should know this, but I can't pull it up right now. What are the eligibility requirements for being in votaries? Um, just that uh, you've either received a um, the master's degree from Cherry Hill, or that you um, completed the community ministry certificate program. But we um, have open we have open memberships too. Remember? Oh, um, well, yeah. Yeah, anybody right. can join. Yeah. I'll 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 put a link. Thank My you. Apologies. Yeah. 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 Uh, and current students can also join. There well, there's different levels yes. of membership. Current students can also join uh, at a reduced rate. Okay, great, thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah, can and staff I was just- join, Wesley? What's that? Can staff join? Of course. <laughs> Especially if they take a class, then there'll be students right. as well. Holly, Holly, vouch for me. I'm in your class. She is a student, yes. <laughs> and I just wanted to thank Maka for her comment. Um, yes, it's great to see that Cherry Hill has grown in so many ways. Um, and so thank you for your input, Maka. <clears throat> and, um, and Maka, I saw your quote about voting so i'll follow up with you separately about that um my apologies if you didn't get to vote i'm so sorry um <laughs> thanks um all right any other comments or questions right now i just want to thank all the faculty and staff at cherry hill it's it's so awesome working with y'all. I just want to let you know that. And I do not envy those of you who were making this voting decision because all the other professors here are amazing and awesome. And that had to be a really hard choice. So I had my hand up for quite a while. Aren't we supposed to raise our hands? Oh, that's okay. Go ahead. I just wanted to say that uh, aside from what it, in addition to what I said online, it's just um, 
when I started with Cherry Hill Seminary, it was, it was really just a website <laughs> with a couple of classes. And um, under Holly's leadership, among other things, and, and certainly Wendy's, it's really trans, it's trans, it's uh, morphed itself into something really significant and really, um, I think we're really a, a big part of the pagan movement, I call it a movement. That uh, and we have really um, brought the standards up, so to speak. And Wendy had a lot to do with it, obviously. So I just wanted to say, um, I'm just uh, my hats off to to all the people that made this happen. Since I I taught one of the first online classes, and I think it's still being taught, but it's a master's level now. But anyways, it's been quite a journey, and um, everybody, almost everybody that I've had any connection with through Cherry Hill has been wonderful, including Wendy, who was just retiring from Long Beach State. We were on the way to the American Academy of Religion in Atlanta. And I was in the, we had a stopover in Dallas airport and I was in the women's room and there was Wendy in the women's room. And she said, <laughs> how are things going at Cherry Hill Seminary? And I said, well, we're looking for an executive director. I mean, <laughs> academic dean, academic dean. <laughs> So then she met the executive director. The rest is history. So thank you, everybody. Yes, thank you for sharing that, Maka. Well, oh, unless there are... I was supposed to clap for myself. I was to... <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Well, uh, thanks, everyone, for um, coming today. And um, I will hand it over to Jeffrey. <clears throat> Great. Thanks, Wes. Um, thanks for uh, taking the lead in forming uh, the votaries, which is very exciting. It's been what, one, of the, one of the dreams, I think a long-term dream to have an alumni association. So it's very exciting that not only we have an alumni association, but the alumni association continues to be present with Cherry Hill Seminary. Um, I, I'm sure that many of you have um, been members of your alumni associations over the years, and that's, you know, they, they're almost are completely separate from the institution, which is always a missed opportunity. And I'm really excited that not only do we have a growing and thriving alumni association, but in, in the way that the alumni association has offered to remain involved is through this, through this very first professor, Wendy Griffin, Professor of the Year Award. And I think that that's really exciting. And I think that's really hopeful for the future for an even stronger future for us and for all of the people that we touch. And all of us in some way have been involved in education. That, that's, that's what we're all about. And education, often we don't see who we touch. We may mention something or pose a question or offer a resource. And we don't always see how that reverberates over the years and how we remember back fondly to different experiences. And I think that in the Alumni Association, which is those who are generally alumni after the association, but still maintaining connection with the Professor of the Year Award, I think that that's, that's really, really valuable. And I think it's really helpful to keep us as a community. And I think about the mission statement, which we have at, at Cherry Hill, that we, we empower spiritual leadership scholarship and ethics through theological and pastoral education to nurture interfaith engagement in a diverse society. That's our mission statement. And our mission statement isn't something that just goes onto a wall someplace. And it's not just some words. And the mission statement is really how we live. It's how we engage with our education, how we engage with spirituality and how we engage with community. And we're our community here but the people who we touch in our lives are far beyond the group of us who are right here right now. And in many ways, I think that's similar to a metaphor for what a teacher of the year award can actually be, to acknowledge the deep influence of somebody who has been able to touch those lives. And that this award has been named in honor of Wendy Griffin, who has had so many years of touching so many lives and helping us to get to where we are right now with Cherry Hill Seminary, looking off into the future. 
So with that, I'm very, very thankful that we have this. Congratulations, Deidre, on, on winning this, the, the very first one. Um, so it looks so wonderful. And um, with that, we look forward to continued events and continued involvement with our faculty, with our current students, and with our alumni. And it's amazing how like water, stone and water, that will just continue to ripple forward. So let us continue to pay that forward. Thank you so much, everybody. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful day, wonderful weekend. Thank you so Thank much. You. This was beautiful. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye.